Howdy folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to get the Windows 10 Anniversary Edition. So if you may have an older build and you want to get the latest features and enhancements of Windows 10, uh, this is how you're going to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link to this page, which is the Windows 10 Update History. And on this page they have a little blurb about the uh, Windows 10 Anniversary Update. So the first step is to click on the button that says get the anniversary update now. So we'll go ahead and do that. You'll want to save the file. Okay, now this is Firefox, so the file will be saved in the upper right hand corner. You can click on the little download arrow and then click on the file name here, which is Windows 10 Upgrade 28084.exe. Your computer asks you're sure you want to run this of course go ahead and say yes okay and the Windows 10 update assistant will open so you can go ahead and close your browser just focus on the update here now it tells you which build that you're running so this computer right now has build 10586 and the anniversary edition is 14393. So all we have to do to get things started is click on update now. Okay, it checks the computer. Everything looks okay. CPU, memory, and disk space all fine. Okay, we can go ahead and click next again. Okay, and then the process of downloading begins. So this is going to take a while, right? Depending on your um, internet connection and uh, the speed of your computer uh, this whole process can take you know anywhere from one to two or three hours right so uh, let it run check back on it periodically in case it's asking you a question if it needs some prompt from you uh, to be uh, prompt to be answered by you and uh, keep in mind that things will uh, reboot several times so uh, it is a, an ongoing process at the end, it will give you a window that says that you are now updated. Uh, one warning I'll give you is that uh, Microsoft will remove um, software that it feels is incompatible with the anniversary edition. So uh, in my case, CCleaner uh, disappeared, right? And I had a little utility uh, called TurboClock X uh, on the other computer that I upgraded. Uh, it disappeared, right? Um, I'm not aware of any other things at the moment that disappeared, but I, I may reach for something one day and find that the icon's not there. So uh, don't be surprised if if something disappears. From what I hear, most of the things are little system utilities, that kind of thing. So uh, not necessarily the end of the world. Most of your applications should still work. Um, but I did notice, for example, an issue with uh, VMware uh, virtual machines. I had to reset the network settings uh, so that my virtual machines could go back online. Uh, there were a couple of hiccups, right? But I do like uh, the new interface. I love the new start button, the way they've laid it out. I feel it's much nicer. And of course, uh, with all the bug fixes, etc., I'm hoping that overall it's going to be a much more uh, stable and happy uh, situation for all my computers running Windows 10. So uh, good luck. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Take care.